You mean that young lady? That was a sad and unfortunate incident. Is she the one you've been seeing in your dreams? Yes, Pastor. But I did not kill her. I know. I did not even touch her. I just told her to go home and dress more appropriate hmm. so that she would not distract you or our men. I did not touch her. Do you know God truly loves you, Sister Monica? How, oh, Pastor? Pastor, how? I'm telling you, someone has been appearing to me in my dream, accusing me of killing her. And her blood is on my head. And you're telling me God loves me? How? How does that? God loves you, Sister Monica. He wants you to repent. He wants you to repent. Perhaps that's why you keep having the same recurring dreams, Sister Monica. Do you know that on that day of this unfortunate incident, we found out that this lady came to church to ask God for mercy because she just broke up with her boyfriend. You couldn't kill yourself, you know. Why are you acting like that? Do you realize my mom threw me out because of you? I can no longer be a mother because of the series of abortion I have had for you. I have stolen for you. I could no longer further my education because of you. Mm. And you're here telling me that you're done. <clears throat> Telling me you're done. <laughs> oh, God. You know, you're such a good preacher, girl. <laughs> good job on all those sermons, all those things you just said. <laughs> you just preached about. What you need to do is, you need to get out there and find you a good church where you can preach to other people like you. That's what you need to do. You're right. You know what? I'm going to ask God to forgive me. Uh, heard that a thousand times. <laughs> Good readings to bad rubbish. <laughs> Who told her I wanted to marry a harlot like her in the first place? <laughs> then I killed her. No. First I killed her. No! Oh my God, what have I done? Pastor, now her blood is asking for vengeance. Pastor, please, do you know where she's buried? Why? I want to go and apologize. What? I want to ask her for forgiveness, Pastor. Go to her grave? You must be kidding. You see, that's why we keep telling you. We, all the time we keep saying this. We should mind the way we talk to people in church. We do not know where they are in their spiritual life or if they are just coming to the church for the first time to meet with Christ. But Sister Monica, like I said earlier, God truly loves you and He wants you to make amends in your life. Whoever you are seeing in your dream is not the same person because the lady we are talking about is long gone. And the good thing about it is that she gave her life to Christ on her deathbed. So she's not the same person you're seeing in your dreams. Going to her grave will only invoke a familiar spirit to torment you for the rest of your life. Is that what you want, Sister Monica? No, oh, Pastor. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm so confused. Give your life to Christ completely. And let him deal with everything concerning you. Let us pray, Sister Monica. So, Pastor, she gave her life to Christ. She did. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. 